Hey loves, Jay here with a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I have done a pre-shuffle for you. We are going to hop into your tarot and clarify each of those. But before we do that, let's get started with your spiritual insights. Thank you all so much for being here. I am grateful for you tuning in here, Virgo. And what's going on with you for this month here? I'm hearing spirits say, drink more water because I'm feeling a sense of de dehydration that may be coming from some of you. Um, also, stay away from salty foods that are filled with like, you know, sodium and dyes and, you know, all kind of, you know, man-made things, okay? So, if you can, again, in moderation, I know it's, you know, you can't just hop on the wagon and just uh, eliminate everything from your diet, but make sure that you're being very conscious about what, you put, what you're putting in your mouth. Um, some of you may find yourself um, carrying some extra water weight or having some sort of swelling. So, find ways to that you can detox this month in a healthy way, okay, so I'm not, not just jumping on the, you know, I'm going to go vegan or I'm going to go straight vegetarian, make sure you ease yourself into it so that it becomes a lifestyle and not just a dieting uh, uh, regimen or a dieting adventure, I should say, okay, um, Spirit is also saying, you've got the green light, so whoever needs to hear that message, if you've been looking for a sign, looking for an answer for something, you've got the green light, and I'm also hearing you say, I'm all in. Okay, so not sure what it is that you are all in, but you're all in. I also hear a lot of mind chatter that's going on for some of you. Um, so what, what can you do this month um, on a day-to-day -day basis that will um, elevate your frequency so that you're not allowing the mind chatter to place a shadow on your light? Okay, so that's very important. It's a very important question to ask that, you know, what can you do during this time frame, okay? Some of you um, are just coming out of a depressive or dark state, so we would recommend creating a list of happy habits, things that you love to do that are fun, easy, and make you smile. Then each day you're going to choose a one thing from your list that you can do one or two times throughout the day um, to keep your frequency high and yourself in alignment, of course, with your spirit. Um, you can set an alarm or a reminder to get you through uh, this or to remind you throughout the day if needed, okay? I also am feeling someone is peeking, okay? Someone's watching you in some way. And as we know, our divine beings are always watching over us, of course. But I do feel like this is a human being, a person specifically um, that you know, possibly a loved one whether you have a relationship with them or not, someone is watching you in some way. And I don't mean to freak you out in any way. Just use caution when you're, uh, you know, putting things out on social media or sharing, sharing with people via phone or text message about what's going on in your life. And hopefully it is in a situation where some of you um, are going through or someone is going through like your personal things like your phone or your social media messages um, or maybe even putting a tracker on you. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to stop now because that seems like a little little intense and I don't want to um, be too abrasive and also freak you out in this moment. But Virgo, this is an opportunity during this phase of your journey to not just exist and float through life, but to begin paying attention to the signs you're given. It feels like the universe is trying to get your attention and from, you know, when I say that, trying to get your attention, it reminds me of the movie, the infamous movie, The Color Purple. And it's, you know, a phrase, a song that was actually in this movie that I love so much. It's, it's called God is Trying to Tell You Something. So that's what I'm feeling for you, um, Virgo, which is probably going to be the title of your, <laughs> of your tarot reading. God is Trying to Tell You Something. Okay. So your universal message, Virgo, is you glow, we beam. You glowy beam, thanks. The universe says, in case anyone should ask, your heart isn't so large because of your wings. It's your wings that are so large because of your heart. Sometimes loving so much can be pretty heavy. Thanks for all you've shared, the universe. P.S. It's just another one of those nutty body algorithm things. Okay, so you glow, we beam, thanks. Okay, so some of you may be feeling that all of the hard work and all of the love that you've been putting out maybe is going on notice or it just feels a little bit heavier to you in this moment, okay? Your angel number, if you're seeing this number, uh, this is confirmation validation for you. 
111, 111. It is about intuition. Okay, so this is saying that you need to, you know, do things in moderation. You need to be patient, which is always um, a message that our angels and our guides deliver is patience is uh, patience is very important. Okay, let yourself be in the flow. So this doesn't mean you just existing and just flowing through life, but let yourself be in the flow of your ever expanding good that is coming from your spirit. Okay, so this is about clarity, joy, movement, self-realization, taking action and unconditional love. I see that, you know, we're gearing towards and leaning towards love around your reading here, Virgo. Um, it's time for you to implement long cherished ideas. So you're on the right track. Okay, so, you know, you got the green light, you're all in, you're on the right track toward making your dreams and visions a reality, and the right people, circumstances, and resources are being sent your way. Okay, so you're, and you're, do, you're doing well. This 111 is definitely a confirmation. Happiness and new opportunities are at hand. So trust in this process, okay? Trust in this process here, Virgo, that is... Um, that you're that you're on on this part of your journey Two of these cards came out let go of fear now okay so if some of you are holding on to any fear any fear from um, something someone has said to you something someone has done to you or things that you've said um, it, it feels like fe this fear is based from you know it could be have passed down from your ancestral lineage lineage it could be things from your childhood that have been passed down to you but it definitely feels like there is some underlying fear that some of you are holding on to. And this may even re be revolved around love for some of you, okay, when it comes to love. Letting go of how you're loved, how you should be loved, whatever this is. But now is the time to let go of whatever this is that you've been holding on to that doesn't really serve you. And if some of you know exactly what this is because you think about it often. Time to let that go. Detach from the situation, okay, so if you find yourself... You're finding yourself in some sort of situation and most of you have with some of the things that you've been going on going through for the past few months and maybe even years okay even like six months to a year for some of you um, it's time for you to detach from whatever this is and using your intuition is most important see I feel like your spirit guys are trying to nudge you towards really paying attention to the signs that you're receiving the nudges that you're getting they're definitely inklings of um, and nudges to get you to open up to your spiritual self okay also understand that prosperity lies ahead new moon and Taurus and shoot did we just have a new we sure did we just had a new moon in Taurus on May 7th okay so some of you may be on this path of, of receiving prosperity or knowing as that something is about to open up for you, but there is an opportunity for you to become prosperous during this new moon energy and moving beyond that. So I hope that you took the time to set your intentions um, on whatever this is that you have wanted, you want to create for your life. Okay, so let's hop into your tarot here and see what is coming up for you, Taurus. I'm sorry, Taurus. What did I say? Oh, why did I say Taurus? Okay, Taurus. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Taurus or you have Taurus in your chart. All right. Let's see what is coming up. All right. So we have the High Priestess coming out for you. Let's move this here. We have the uh, Page of Cups coming out reversed. We have the Five of Swords. The Ten of Cups reversed. The Nine of Pentacles. The Emperor. And we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, Ooh, that's a pretty card. And this is the new deck that I'm working with too, guys. All right. So let's um, let's see what it is, what's going on for you here. Um, Virgo, since I said Taurus. Okay, <laughs> we want to get into this. So... Um, I definitely feel like you guys are going to be tapping into a new energy, tapping into your intuition, which we said some of you are seeing one, one, one on a regular basis here. Um, and, you know, you may have been, you may have been feeling like uh, it's almost like this unrealistic feeling that some of you have been in lately, like 
seeing is believing instead of believing is seeing sort of energy is what I'm feeling for some of you like have not been in a place of trusting or um, believing and so that also prevents you from receiving okay right so some of you have been in conflict with people you've been in conflict with yourself whether that is self-destruction or um, selfishness but some sort of cunning behavior there's been some things going on where some of you may have been feeling like you failed um, whether that's you failed at a job you failed in a relationship whatever that that how that however that shows up for you but I definitely feel an, a, a frustration that could be coming up for you and this could be revolved around family for some of you as well could possibly even be revolved around money for you as well um, and, I, and I'm also feeling for some of you this may be um, a time where some of you have gone through some legal issues with someone and things have been very combative and you've been just going back and forth with things and you're in this position of feeling like you're just exhausted you're tired um, and, and now it's time for you to let go, not let go, not just let go and letting go of fear like we talked about here, but letting go of something that really doesn't resonate with your spirit and where you're going. And it's just like you're not on the same page anymore. You have to allow your light to shine. You glow, we beam, right? But you're a part of the universe, so you glow and you beam as well. So you need to de detach from a situation here and understand that good energy is coming into your life if you allow it in, okay? So... Let's hop into this overall energy that is coming up for you during this time frame. We have the high priestess showing up for you. So I definitely feel a dual energy coming. Some of you may even think of um, seeking out some sort of professional help from a spiritual advisor, maybe from a healer, a body worker, but someone who is in the um, conscious world, someone who does divination, occult work, or, you know, in the metaphysics, quantum physics, whatever. Um, I definitely feel like there's a new avenue that some of you may be exploring during this time. It feels like a curiosity that I'm feeling some of you have. And it's almost like that it reminds me of, um, you know, some people only pray when things are not well in their life. But I feel like things are not going as as they pl as planned or things are not feeling right with your spirit right now. So I feel like some of you are going to be seeking out additional assistance. Um, and that assistance can just be from your divine team where you're sitting down meditating, you're praying more often, you're journaling, you're reconnecting with yourself in some sort of way. But I definitely feel like some of you may even decide to bring in some sort of um, facilitator to help you during this time um, to really elevate your spirit. Um, that could even be a counselor for some of you if you are going through marital issues are coming up, if you're going through something in a relationship and you're needing some sort of guidance because your way hasn't worked or you can't seem to be on the same page with your person, there is an opportunity for things to unfold for you, okay, in a very uh, beautiful and spiritual way, conscious way. Um, because you're tuning into yourself. So there is a lot of things I feel like you're wanting to learn and open up to. I'm also hearing some of you may even think of returning back to school. And some of you just are returning and learning, teaching maybe. But I do feel like you're learning something in the occult world. Um, so it definitely feels like you're diving in deep in some sort of way and as your overall energy here. I do feel like you are in this you, you're going to be in this position of learning to trust. Some of you are going to be learning to trust for the very first time. Some of you are going to be learning to trust again due to the circumstances that you are currently in. So I'm looking at this high priestess and you can see um, here there is a crescent moon here. So it definitely makes me feel like you guys are tuning into some of the um, some of the fears and some of the um, traumas even are coming up but some of the things that have been left hidden that you may have withdrawn from or you may have pushed down in your subconscious so that um you just didn't think about it anymore that's what it feels like okay so i definitely feel like um there's going to be some sort of shift where there's going to be a polarity a balance um some sort of partnership with you and someone else or you in your spirit body but I do feel like you're going to be gaining a lot of wisdom tapping into your intuition seeing a lot of things unfold for you here um, in this upcoming month and going beyond that okay so let's see what else is coming up from this overall energy I'm going to pull a clarifier around this as well all right, so that's um, I'm feeling that that 
Pisces in the Pisces energy that's there. Um, like I said, Pisces energy. There's also Moon energy there, also. Let's let me pull a clarifier on that. Okay. Why is the high priestess here in the overall position for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, we have the seven of swords. Yeah, so this definitely feels like some of you may have been dealing with someone of air energy, possibly Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Could be anyone for you here, Virgo, but definitely someone who was uh, sneaky or tried to get away with something. I feel like a you know, like a this is my card for a conniving energy, like some things that were left hidden. They're trying to kind of um, now get away with something. Okay, in some sort of way, this could be like I said, someone that you're dealing with. Like there were things sort of swept under the rug, and people are thinking or this person's thinking like, oh, I got away with something again. Okay, I don't know how that shows up for you, but I do feel like you're going to be seeing things a lot clearer now because you're going to be focused on your intuition, which is the most important thing here, okay, um, for you during this time, okay, because I, I definitely feel like you're needing some answers to something, and I feel like those answers are coming about someone or about a situation that someone tried to get away with, but it definitely is not working for you anymore. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, definitely not working. Because some of you have been feeling stuck in a situation and not sure what's what was the truth and what wasn't. And I do feel like something is going to be revealed for you during this time. And that's your overall energy. It feels like there's a lot that's going on for you. But I do feel like there's a lot internally that's going on. There's a lot of things internally that's going on. But I feel like you are now going to be getting answers to some of the questions that you had about something, about someone, about a situation in general that someone was being sneaky and conniving with, okay? So that is um, your overall energy, your obstacle or challenge that lies ahead for you during this time. We have uh, the Page of Cups is coming out for you here reversed. Okay, so this this could show up as um, impulsive energy or even bad news that come that comes in. Um, make sure I'm hearing. Make sure you're not cheated. So don't be naive in situations. Is what I'm hearing from this page of page of cups reverse. Because uh, some of you could be in a position where you're idealizing people, and it feels like you just need to take people at face value here, Virgo. What is it that they're showing you? Because I feel like people are showing you their layers right away, for sure. Scorpionic energy here. We also have Libra energy here. Um, and um, so this air, air and, what is it? Air and, yeah, air energy, okay? I was like, what? what's going on here? <laughs> air and fire here, so. There's a lot of thoughts. There's a lot of intensity going on between you and someone or an obstacle or challenge that maybe some of you have already faced and you're still battling this. But I definitely feel like this could be coming up for some of you as well. Um, this could just definitely be emotions. But it, if, it makes me feel like some of you are just feeling stuck like that seven of swords here. But like I said, I'm looking at the two of swords here where it, it definitely feels like you're just like at a stalemate where you're just like, oh, what do I do? What is my next step? So some of you, don't make sure you're not forcing anything or, like I said, being impulsive or even naive and don't even be in this place of irrationality. So I think you definitely need to really tune into your intuition and really get the answers how on how to move forward in some situation that you may be dealing with. I'm going to pull a clarifier around this. We have the King of Cups energy. Okay, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy coming up for you. So definitely a relationship for, for you or this is um, a, an emotion that some of you are dealing with here. Uh, I do feel like some of you may have a difficult time trying to um, manage your emotions in certain situations. Okay, so that may be an obstacle that come up because I'm hearing like fighting. So I don't know if you're verbally fighting physically in some sort of way, but I feel like 
you may have a hard time managing your emotions where I feel like you want to be the bigger person in a situation, okay? And this could be someone else that you're dealing with, but I'm feeling this, inner, like you're embodying this water energy. Um, I, I feel like you are um, going to be um, in this position where you, you want to be the bigger person, but I, some of you may, this irrational behavior may, may come about because it's like, hey, I feel like you want to be petty, okay? I feel like you want to be petty because someone has been petty with you, okay? So that's what that obstacle is, is understanding where you need to balance, um, where you need to fight your battles, where you need to tune in and get clarity and really step into your authenticity. You don't have to match their energy, okay? Like Michelle Obama says, when they go low, you go high. And I feel like this energy is like, no, if they, gonna, if they go low, I'm going to go lower, okay? So really finding that emotional balance during this this obstacle or this challenge that may you may be faced with because I do feel like your emotions are going to be on a high at times it's going to be up and down and I do feel like I feel like somebody's trying to like bite your ass or you've already been bitten in some sort of way that's what I feel so I feel like you have to sort of bite the bullet and be the bigger person in the situation here okay so not letting the page of wands um, overcome you okay that can sometimes that page of wands is can be an immature energy like a very um well immature i'll just say that it doesn't necessarily mean that you're it's a younger person in this situation it just means an immature person but i do feel like you embody the king of wands naturally but i feel like you might stoop to their level whatever situation this may be that come up for you okay so that's your obstacle or challenge where you're headed during this time. We have the Five of Swords. So this definitely feels like more conflict that could be coming up for you. And this could just be conflict that you're experiencing in um, in your head. Okay, this is a, a self-destructive uh, sort of energy. But I do feel energy of you like maybe feeling defeated it feels like your energy is all over the place or a situation is all over the place some of you are dealing here with um an aquarius um also we have venus energy here too so it makes me feel like it's somebody that you love that you're connected to um like i said air energy uh, mainly an aquarius could also be a, a libra or gemini my head just started spinning too i almost felt like a jolt um, you know, I don't know if there's, if it's shocking information for some of you that comes up or you're thinking like, I thought we overcame this. Why are we still going through this? But it definitely feels like a battle. Someone could even be turning their back on you or you could be turning your back on them because there's a lot of frustration. But this is also a card of loss. Five is a number of instability and change. It is also a beginning of a new cycle in some sort of way. But I do feel like this, there's this energy of a little bit of chaos and uncertainty that is going on that you're going to have to learn how to adjust to. Okay, so let me pull a clarifier around that. We have the Queen of Cups. A lot of Cups energy spirits at bottom of the deck. The Sun. I like that energy. Underneath that was the Ten of Cups. A lot of watery energy. So some of you are dealing with... I'm hearing um, either a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody that is very sensitive, um, and someone who is sensitive emotionally, and it almost makes me feel like someone who hasn't really done their work, so they can pop off at any point, and this is the reason why some of you are like, I will match your energy. <laughs> Don't match the energy, really tune in to, to what's going on within you and why you're triggered by some of the things that are coming up for you. Okay, so... Um, I, I definitely feel, you know, this Queen of Cups in the Sun, I'm hearing like help, like someone, you need some help. The Queen of Cups too is also, she's a nurturer and a counselor. So like I said, initially when we pull the High Priestess as your overall energy, this could be a counselor, therapist, whoever, or just someone who is that you can, that's a confidant to you, that you trust and they are very wise and give great advice. I do feel like you turn to them with during this situation that you are going through, okay? And I feel like they bring you a level of peace and happiness and joy. But I'm also feeling from the sun that some of you may have some things to work through from childhood. So maybe some of you could even be connecting or reconnecting with a mother figure. So that doesn't necessarily mean your biological mother, but that could be a guardian, someone that you see as a mother um, who 
is a nurturer for you, that brings you some clarity, that makes you feel loved and safe. That's what it feels like. Um, despite the challenge that you may be facing with this Five of Swords of your, you know, you and someone else or multiple people here. Because I do feel like it's a warrior energy, but I'm also feeling like you're very tired of this situation or this person. I don't know how that shows up for you here. What's coming towards you here, Virgo, is the Ten of Cups. It's coming out reversed for you. So um, this makes me feel like this has something to do with that uh, dual, the, I can't even speak. This has, and maybe that's happening for some of you where you can't even get your words out straight because there's so much stress that is happening in your life. But I definitely feel like this could be revolved around family or, you know, someone that, someone that's close to you. So it could be a friend as well. And when I talk about family, sometimes I'm, it's not just blood, but blood family, but chosen family as well. So. I don't know who this person is or what's happening here, but the Ten of Cups reversed is there is chaos, conflict between you and someone, and there could be a breakup that could be coming toward dis coming towards you, but there's some sort of discord, some sort of disconnect where, again, like I said, you're not on the same page, and this makes me feel like I just got to, like, a, my heart, my heart almost, like, skipped a beat where it... It makes me feel like you, this person who may be watching you, like <sighs> this person that's watching you, and this is like this is have this has something to do with some sort of conflict. So maybe there's conflict in a relationship, and someone, you know, we always say the person who's going searching for things, you better be ready to see what you're gonna see. The truth will be revealed, and sometimes when people go searching for things, it's because of something that they're doing. Okay, so this makes me feel this conflict comes up towards it comes towards you because it is a situation around someone invading your privacy in some sort of way so it definitely feels like combative um i'm hearing disrespect but you're being upset as well um and i feel like trust being lost in some sort of way some of you are dealing with um a pisces a pisces energy here and this is also mars energy so it makes me feel like it's very very intense okay um Mars, I'm getting an argumentative, an argumentative energy from this as well, okay? So definitely keep an eye on that with what's coming towards you because it definitely feels like some sort of, like your, your harmony being destroyed in some sort of way. Let's clarify this card. We have the Ten of Pentacles coming out, okay? Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. All right. So definitely family, because we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This is definitely pointing to family. Could possibly be, possibly be revolved around situation with children or money, okay? So, or, you know, a career in general. But I definitely feel like someone, and this this could be your energy here. This this is your energy here, Virgo, Earth energy with the Pentacles. Um, definitely feels... I'm feeling like a change in someone you may, could be feeling left out. This could just be a dark time for you where you just, you don't know what to do, where to go. And maybe it is because some of you are separating, breaking up in some sort of way um, where you're disconnecting from someone and it, it kind of leaves you in this situation where you're not sure which, where you should go and what you should do. Very interesting here um, with this Ten of Cups. Because I definitely feel like some of you are wanting to be alone, be single, take a break, something. You're wanting to disconnect from someone is what I'm feeling here for you, okay? Because what's happening in your near future is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is a single woman, okay, who likes to have a good time, who wants to take care of herself and focus on her, her morals, her values. She wants material comfort and wealth. She wants to enjoy the fruits of her labor. She's very confident and self-disciplined. Um, but this is a, a, an energy of independence, which also makes me feel like a single energy, okay, being single here. So this is your energy here, this Knight of Pentacles. Um, so I feel like there could be an ending that's coming up for you in some sort of way where you're able to receive some good news. So it feels like bad news puts you in a situation 
with someone where you disconnect and then you move into this energy of good news and finding inner peace here with the nine of pentacles because you are now free from something okay and that can show up in a job for you that can show up with you know being you know connected to someone due to money ties but you you know disconnecting yourself in some sort of way or just a relationship in general we have the uh, four pinnacles and then the ten of cups is coming out again we just pulled the ten of cups here in your what's coming towards you but that came in reverse so it definitely makes me feel like um, you're um, letting something go and then life sort of changes for you and, and changes for the better where you're in a position where you're able to save and be charitable and to give more of yourself because you're not pulled in all of the all of the directions that made you stress because I feel like a lot of stressors that have come up for some of you here but I definitely feel that there's going to be change a change in your family dynamics possibly too where you're going to be happier and maybe even feeling more secure financially and just overall in general like in general just feeling happier with yourself but it definitely feels like it doesn't come without a challenge and it feels like you have to let something or someone go in order to experience this energy in your near future okay so which is also part of your advice is letting go of something or someone and remember we've already said initially in pulling your oracle cards to let go of fear now and to also detach from the situation so this is definitely some sort of separation that is happening for some of you then we have the emperor which also made me feel earlier when i was first pull the cards out some of you may be going through going to an authority figure to help you through a situation where you need to separate and disconnect you need to you know split assets or so this could be a, a divorce annulment a breakup a separation from a friendship you could be leaving a job um, but it definitely feels like you're trying to create some sort of fairness someone had been holding on to something holding on to secrets whatever and it feels like the light was shined on something and it's like you now reap the benefits from from the situation you know sort of walking away from the situation here okay so the emperor energy here as your advice is really taking authority over your life and you becoming the leader because it feels like some of you may have been managed by someone and now you're stepping into your power and trusting yourself and understanding your worth and now since you are not bogged down by stress you feel like your ambition you, you amb you're more ambitious because you have a clearer mind and some of you are even in a position to provide more support to yourself okay if someone was taking care of you provide more support to a, you know your family your children whoever this is okay but I definitely feel like you're in a more stable position here this is Aries energy very fiery energy um, that that's coming up for you in this position So it definitely feel like whatever this is is it's um it's a win for you. Okay, let me pull a um some clarifier clarifier around that. Why is this emperor here? We have the page of swords and the ten uh, the six of pentacles. Okay, so air energy, earth energy here clarifying this emperor um, I, I heard a phrase don't ask me about it I don't know what that means I'm hearing this from this page of swords here don't ask me about it um I can't make out what that means for you but I maybe I just maybe you just don't want to be asked questions you want to get what's what's um what's meant for you and and move on from a situation here I'm also feeling uh, custody for some of you too. So it could be a teenage, a teenager. Some of you could be fighting for as well. Um, or this, this could be a, a situation involving your teenage child as well. Not sure how that is going to play out for you. But I definitely feel like the, the clouds are parting and I feel like you are um, leveling up in some sort of way here, Virgo, because it has been a, a little hasty for you is what I'm hearing so I feel like you're in this position where you could be more charitable okay we already talked about the four of pentacles that just came out in the um, in your future energy 
um, in your nearest future energy. So I do feel like you're able to save and invest. And now it's, it's an opportunity for you to be more charitable that is coming up for you. So it definitely feels like you're in a place of power. And maybe for some of you with this emperor, you're leveling up some sort of way in the career, becoming a CEO, a president, or whatever the case may be. But I do feel like it, put, it puts you in um, a position where you're able to give more. Okay, so that's your advice and your final outcome here. We have the Nine of Wands, which is an energy of exhaustion and defeat, um, feeling tired, but being like the wounded warrior. And it's like more conflict. So it definitely feels like you can win in this situation, whatever the situation is. Okay, and it's, it may not even be about winning or losing, but I feel like it's a, it's, it's, you making progress in some way where you feel like okay i have won but it, it definitely is challenging okay it definitely is challenging um but it, it puts you in a position of being vigilant here really seeing all the things that have transpired because if you look at the nine of wands the nine of wands is looking at everything here that has already gone on a lot of conflict but it it makes you turn inward, okay, because this is a warrior, like a spiritual warrior, okay, so it almost feels like some of you are needing to put on your armor as you go through this part of the journey because it feels like it's up and down, and you have to get to this place where, <coughs> ooh, excuse me, guys, my throat just went crazy on me, <coughs> excuse me. And it feels like because you, you have been holding on to a lot, <coughs> excuse me, you've been holding on to a lot, Virgo, and you're like, and you've been watching just, you've been watching things play out. And it's like, now you, now you have to talk about it. Now you have to say something about it because it's exhausting because it's time for you to let it go and detach from this. So, oh, this is an opportunity for you to... <clears throat> Speak your truth so that you can move past this. Some of you have been waiting for the right opportunity to uh, say whatever you need to say, okay? You've been in a very conservative energy, and this is why some of you may decide to match someone's energy and pop off in a way because you feel like you've been holding your tongue. But, um, you know, make sure you, <laughs> wow, look at this. Make sure, make sure you're, you know, acting from, your spirit self, your spirit body acting from a place of love, okay? You could still be, you can still get your point across with love. Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune here. So because the Nine of Wands is here as your final outcome, which lets me know you on your way out, you're detaching, you're letting things go when it comes to a relationship for some of you, there's going to be things that are going to change. And for some of you, the dynamic of your relationship can change because maybe you did seek counseling. And for some of you, it's you've left someone behind, you've detached from a situation, and so your life becomes better where you're now tuning into yourself, mind, body, and spirit here. Um, so I feel like there's things that are, are things are going to be coming together for you with the Wheel of Fortune. I love that energy. Uh, it definitely is. Good luck is on your side. Fortune is on your side. But definitely things are changing, and it's it's karmic, and it's also sudden, okay? So some of you may be in a position where you're like, when is this going to end? And I feel like it's going to be ending sooner than later, whatever this battle is that some of you have been going through with someone or in a situation in general, okay? So that is your reading, Virgo. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It was a pleasure reading for you. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are reminded of when I post a video for you. Make sure you like this video, comment below if any part of this resonates with you. Share with your family and friends. Enjoy the rest of this month. Many blessings and love and light to you guys. Peace.